Every good CPU enthusiast knows that to make something go faster, you need to overclock. And when that overclock comes from the factory, what do you call it? The Intel Core i9-13900KS. An upgraded version of the 13900K, this version comes with higher performance, a higher price tag, and hopefully the performance crown. Intel turned the dial on the 13900KS up to 11 in order to achieve maximum performance. But at what cost? And taking a quick look at the system specs, we are using an RTX 4090 to hopefully minimize any bottlenecks that may occur, as well as 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 memory, a Noctua NH-U14S, as well as running Windows 11. And moving over into the gaming benchmarks, and we can see at 4K gaming, even with an RTX 4090, if your priorities are resolution and quality settings, you're not going to notice much of an upgrade with the 13900KS, as pretty much anything you'd be cross-shopping this with is going to be plus or minus 5%. Still, the 13900KS is in the lead. Moving over into 1440p though, and that lead is now over. The Ryzen 7 7800X 3D is the best gaming CPU you can buy right now, and it shows, though in this case only being about 2% faster than the 13900KS, so pretty minimal. It is faster than the vanilla 13900K, though it's pretty much margin of error. Dropping down to 1080p though does increase the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D's lead, which is now roughly 5% faster than the Intel Core i9-13900KS. The vanilla 13900K is still nipping at the 13900KS's heels, and the Ryzen 9 3950X 3D climbs a few points to being within 1% of Intel's latest and greatest. We've had a few comments requesting that we add in minimum FPS to these videos, and so here it is. At 1080p, the Intel Core i9-13900KS achieves 179.5 FPS, which is about 1% faster than the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D and the Core i9-13900K. It does also gain on the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, which is 187.3 FPS, or a little bit over 4% faster. Moving down to the least GPU limited 720p, and the Core i9-13900KS is about 1% faster than the vanilla 13900K. This is the biggest lead we've seen so far for the newest Intel flagship versus the old Intel flagship, but the victory is somewhat hollow since the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D and the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D are both faster. For many, this may be a little bit of a moot point since all these chips are achieving over 250 FPS at this resolution, but it still stands that the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D is the best gaming chip. So was all that extra effort that Intel put into creating this latest chip for nothing? Well, not quite. When we look at application performance, we can see that the Core i9-13900KS is indeed the fastest CPU available, it being more than 3% faster than the vanilla 13900K, a little bit more than 5% faster than the 7950X 3D, and a staggering 40% faster than the 7800X 3D. So if you are looking for the fastest CPU for general application performance, the Core i9-13900K is probably your best option, at least at stock. So Intel made the fastest desktop processor for applications. The downside, it uses a lot of power in those applications. While the just slightly slower Ryzen 9 7950X 3D uses 140 watts fully loaded, the Core i9-13900KS uses a staggering 355 watts. That's over 200 watts for an additional 6% in performance, while the vanilla 13900K uses 79 watts less and only is about 3% slower. This also makes the 13900KS very hot when fully loaded running in at 115 degrees C when using the Noctua NHU14S. And while this might seem unmanageable, and it kind of is, it's actually not all bad news when it comes to gaming efficiency. While nowhere near matching the efficiency of the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, 
the Core i9-13900KS is actually more efficient while gaming than the Core i9-13900K and only using a manageable 123 watts. This is thanks in no small part to its single thread efficiency, which is actually better than most of the high core count Ryzen chips, being slightly more efficient than the 7950X3D and roughly the same as a 13900K. But when it comes down to it, it's all about value. Looking at application performance where the 13900KS performs the best, and at $800, we can see that the 13900KS is not very appealing. While it doesn't do too bad compared to the Ryzen 9 7950X3D, the vanilla 7950X3D and the vanilla i9-13900K both give you about 35% more performance for your dollar. And both these chips are within 5% in terms of pure performance. And that's without comparing these chips with overclocking. In reality, it's probably better to get the 13900K and use the $230 savings in order to get better memory and better cooling. But if money is not a problem and you need every bit of application performance, the Core i9-13900KS may be for you.